Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, this is the tier 8 premium Chinese heavy tank. The 112, the 112 is Chinese tier 8 heavy tank. That's what I just said. Anyway, Pugsley's driving this one. Pugsley from Tim. This will be a double shot of tier 8 premium Chinese action. This is Pugsley on Winter Himmelsdorf. And he's got the Chinese premium habitat. The 112. 112 has AP rounds of standard ammunition. 390 alpha damage. Only 175 penetration. Uh, 250 penetration for the heat rounds, if that's what you need. And in this tier 9 game, I'm not sure. Let's see what Pugsley does. He's going up to the hill, up towards the castle. I guess it is. On Himmelsdorf, there's plenty of heavy tanks in this game including some heavily armoured tank destroyers. The T-30 and the STRV on each side. A couple of T-9 lights. T-49s, RU-251. Two T-9 artilleries on both sides. The FV-8805, 3805. And the M-53, M-55. The American and the British artillery pieces on the enemy side. And two Frenchies on Pugsley's side. But anyway, Pugsley's climbing the hill. He's just been spotted probably by that T-49. He's bracing himself. Two big artillery shells heading his way. I'm not sure if they're going to land. Y6 getting very brave here on the banana road. Going straight into a T-30, a Chrysler, a 112, and a grand final tank, the M4190. That I-6 has gone. Kingfish from Kelly Clan. That's a pretty cool name. Pugsley's already picked up his first shot, putting a shell into the IS-3. Unlocks the Russian heavy tank. Pulls back from a bit of side scraping. Cops a shot from the Lorraine 42. Shoots and critical hits the tier 8 premium French auto-loading medium tank. Picks up his first kill of the game, getting rid of the IS-3, a handy one to get rid of, even though it's a tier 9 battle. And yeah, he wants to focus on this 42. Has he been counting the shots? I reckon that's about it for the French premium medium tank. It's got a four shot auto loader. It's very, very fun to play, but when you're getting chased down by a 1-1-2, one, one, you know your days are number as Pugsley goes straight over the top. Continues to chase that Lorraine 42. He knows it's a dangerous tank. He reckons by the time he's loaded, he'll be around the corner. He should be able to get another shell in. Doesn't really matter where you aim to those things. Their armor isn't that flash. Of course, like traditional French tanks. There's the M4190. I reckon he, he's, hope he's bracing himself. Puts a shot into the Tier 8 Premium German light tank. It doesn't come up in his damage count because he just went unspotted just before the shell landed. Looks back towards the RHM, the Rheimatide Borsig Waffentrager, or the KV-5 from the rear. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky not to get that shot in the back of the Tier 8 Premium. Russian heavy tank aims towards the RHM. We'd like to get rid of that gun. Barty, all he does is manage to hit some rubble. He's on 1879 damage, that we've seen. 600 damage blocked, a little bit of assisted as well. And he knows that there's a lot of tanks around here. That's why he's not going too far forward. That shot looked like it went into the side of the KV-5. Continues to aim at the KV-5. That looks like a nice shot, but... Chinese accuracy just doesn't... Um, just doesn't aim that well. I don't have one of these tanks, but, I mean, it looks like fun. And you'll see some pretty juicy credits at the end of this game. He's firing all standard rounds so far. One more shot into that T-28 prototype. That gives Pugsley from Tim Clam his second kill in the Chinese heavy tank. The 112. And, of course, there's that bloody Lorraine 40 ton again. He's blocked a bit of damage, though. He's blocked 1,200 now. And he's done just about 3,000. Blocks the Lorraine 40 ton again. Aims towards him to scare him off. And of course that Lorraine 42 is running away like a scared little girl. It puts a shell into the KV-5. Pugsley's only got 514 hit points of health left. And this KV-5 doesn't know where to penetrate the Chinese heavy tank. Didn't scratch the KV-5. I didn't quite see. But he didn't, um, 
didn't land a shot. Continues to bounce the KV-5. Of course, these heavily armoured Russian things aren't known for their good gun. Artillery shoots and stuns the KV-5. I'd be looking at that Lorraine, though. That Lorraine's got pretty good penetration for a Tier 8 Premium. Or is he going to go for the kill shot on oh, the KV-85? Not quite a kill shot. Takes him down to 220 damage. KV-5 shoots and misses. Everyone's trying to kill Pugsley. Pugsley's on two kills, nearly 4,000 damage. 3,500, 38, 4,000 damage blocked. And finally gets rid of a Tier 8 Premium. Premium uh, Russian tank. But the T-30... Kills him finally after blocking over 4,000 damage, doing 4,000 damage himself, and a little bit of assisted as well. Finally, somebody killed him. They were all trying to. There was the M4190, maybe, but the, the T T30, and ended up killing. But the KV-5 was struggling to penetrate the heavily armoured Chinese heavy tank, and that Lorraine. Even though the Lorraine um, did a bit of damage. He certainly bounced plenty of shots. I'm going to get the mission for that game, but 4,000 damage done and over 4,000 damage blocked is certainly nothing to be ashamed about. As we have a look at the post-game battle results, you can see in that game, Pugsley picked up his first mark of excellence in the Chinese Premium Heavy Tank, the 112. He also picked up an Ace Tank, a Mastery Badge, a Bruiser, Fire for Effect, cool-headed for surviving at least 10 Ricochet and non-penetrating non shots in a row from enemy players and the high calibre for doing a massive amount of damage and he clearly topped the score charts in the damage count. 4,362 damage for his three kills. 1388. Base experience was enough for an ace tanker. He fired 18 shots, 17 hits. I don't know what I was talking about if they weren't accurate. That sounds pretty accurate to me. But five of the shots that he, that he landed bounced. 3,264 damage, 4,140 damage blocked, and a little bit of assisted. Gave him the ace tanker, and have a look at those credits. Firing standard rounds, 147,923 credits after tax with a premium account. He did get nearly 62,000 for a personal reserve, so for obviously a, a credit bonus. That's what I like to do as well. I like to pop a few of those credit XP bonuses when, um, when I'm running some premium tanks just to try and get those credits up for the next available tier 10 special. And now here we go. One of the nicest blokes to ever play the game, Von the Burglar from 1AR Clan. This is a double shot of Chinese premium tier 8 heavy action. This one features the 112 again. And my old mate, Von the Burglar. Be careful if you ever meet him. He might be a burglar. He might rob you. But a hell of a nice guy nonetheless. As he pumps a cheeky blind shot over to where the tank destroyers normally sit. And look, you never know your luck in a big city. There's one, two, three. There's five tank destroyers on the enemy side. I'd be putting money on it. But at least one of them's up there. Not the Hellcat, though. The Hellcat's decided he wants to be a heavy tank in this tier 8 battle and if I know Von the Burglar he will be licking his lips and you can see Von the Burglar's got st uh, premium ammunition loaded 390 damage 250 penetration uh, only 175 with the standard and look, you wouldn't think in this lineup you'd need it but manages to bounce the Tiger P not the best way to start the game but you know Something special is going to happen as he aims towards the M4A3E2. He loses his gun. It's not just damage. It is absolutely knocked out. So he fixes it with a quick tap of his six key. Oh, I'm a five key kind of guy myself. But one obviously happy with using the six key for his repair kit. But anyway, he's a lot much better player than I am. Who am I to criticise? As he moves around the corner, what's he going to shoot next? That Tiger P's got to go. 401 damage. With that shot, his tracks eat the return shot, which he's not going to be too worried about. Looks like he bounced the artillery, or FE-304. Not really an artillery, is it? FE-304. As he keeps looking, there's so many tanks. You can only fire one shell at a time, and Von will be thinking, gee, I wouldn't want firing three shells at a time. None of these pricks can pen me. I'm top tier in this big Chinese heavy tank, the 112. Bouncing shots like there's no tomorrow. He's already bounced 940 hit points of damage. Aims towards a T-34. Puts a shell into him. Bounces more shells up to 1340 damage blocked. 1614 damage done. Bounces some 
lots and lots of shells I'm liking the look of this tank as he picks up the kill on the pesky little tier 7 Tiger P the one that leads to the mouse the tier 7 German heavy tank the FB304 finally gets 122 damage into Von der Burgler in the 112 I know what Von will be thinking oh, I do take more damage than that shaving in the morning and he starts pushing towards those enemy tanks 7 zip this is an absolute whitewash Von the Burglar, he must feel like Superman at the moment. He's bouncing shots like there's no tomorrow. The OI, OI not really interested in Von. He's going for probably the heavy tank number six. He probably fancies himself against there. So Von will say, oh, well, if you're going to offer me your backside, I'll take it. The OI just heading straight for heavy tank number six. Bounces the SDRVS one from behind. Picks up his second kill, sending the derp Japanese tier six heavy tank back to the garage. That's 3,000 damage done, 1960 damage blocked. It felt like more, but I suppose a lot of those tanks that were bouncing by were tier 6s. And when you're a top tier heavy tank, with this new matchmaker, when you're a top tier, tier 8 heavy tank, especially a premium where you can just shit credits, all these tier 6s six, tier in a heavily armored tank, like the 112, you can bounce shots all day and just just demolish the enemy side. He's getting a bit cheeky here now. He's looking at the KV-85. He clearly fences Fancy's uh, shot at the title with the KV-85, the T6 heavy Russian tank. Clearly, it's not that heavy in this lineup with the heavy tanks. And looking at the enemy's lineup, just the SDRV and the UDs left from tier eights. KV-85 kills the other KV-85, which is handy. I reckon he might. Might fall in the drink in a minute. That KV-85, if he's not careful. One the burglar keeps moving forward. He's on 1,206 hit points. He hasn't got too much to worry about. But that SU-152, that can certainly... That can certainly derp shit all day. He sees it there. Lands it. Didn't think that was going to hit for some reason. But it did. Now, I haven't seen this replay yet. I'm just watching this roar going in dry. And so's Von the Burglar in the big Chinese heavy tank. The 112. It's... Time to go, yippee guy a Have a look at it. There you go. Side shot into the SU 152. Set him on fire. Thank you very much. That's kill number three for Von. Oh, there's a little Burt tank. But oh, it's probably more concerned about the Udes. Rams the Udes for a little bit of damage. Turns around now. The Udes is running away. Gets a little bit stunned. That'll be from the stun. Wouldn't have been from the Udes. Stun would have been from the FV 304 and a bit of argy bargy here he's going for it. he's going to try and push him in the drink bounces the shot from the tier 8 Swedish tank destroyer he's down to 167 rams him again pushes him up and over he can't get there gets another 20 hit points in the end the UDs does it for him but he's losing health needs to be careful bit of argy bargy that UDs driver Colin Huang Maybe he's been on one ARs team speak on a Saturday night for the Argy Bargy because he certainly he certainly tried to give Von a little bit a stick on his way out. Von down to 123 hit points now. I know what he'll be saying. He'll be saying, I've got this. We'll be alright. He fixes his track. Keeps moving forward. There's a VK 3002D and the STRV S1, the premium Swedish tank destroyer left. The STRV down to 89 health. The VK on 723 hit points the STRV kills the KV-85 and I think the Scorpion G had having covered he does so Von just keeps heading towards the VK-3002 D the T7 German medium tank and he'll be a little bit nervous he'll be thinking Von's coming look out Von the burglar in the big Chinese heavy tank the 112 VK's not going down without a fight though. Takes out the 3101P. Takes out the T6 and that SU-101 would be looking pretty nervous. And Von takes his time. Moves forward. Where's the gun depression? There is none. It's a Chinese one. Puts 395 into the VK and in the end the Scorpion G steals the kill from our mate Von the Burglar in the 112 and what a result an ace tanker mastery badge for Von the Burglar one of the nicest blokes to ever play the game as well as the arsonist for setting that SU-152 on fire the bruiser for the module damage 
Duelist fired up, fired for effect, and the shell proof for all those bounce shots that bouncing more than your hit points. Cool headed for surviving 10. Ricocheting and non penetrating shots in a row, the steel wall. That'll come as no surprise to anyone who watched the first half of the game. And of course, that high caliber. Four kills, 5,125 hit points of damage from Von the Burglar. 1671 base experience. That's absolutely massive. He fired 14 shots, 13 hit, 12 did damage, 5,125. He blocked 2,350. And a little bit of assisted as well would have helped with that Ace Tanker Mastery badge. Not too many players hit the 1,000 mark yet again. Just three. The OI, that's not a bad result for an OI. Let's be honest. T6 Japanese Heavy Tank, 14. 1,500. The Scorpion did 1,200. The Cromwell did all right, 1,100. But everybody else just sort of didn't really... Nobody else really stood up to the plate. On the other side, a couple of 2,000s on the other side. But a few passengers there as well. And yet again, have a look at those credits. 142,731 credits after tax with a premium account. And of course, um, but he's using gold for premium ammunition so if he was using credits for ammunition that would be that would be a very different figure but all in all in a seven minute game an ace tanker mastery badge from the burglar what an absolute champion on arctic region and let's not take anything away from pugsley pugsley had a ripper on winter himmelsdorf as well so two pretty awesome game in a tank that i haven't bought but gee maybe i'm tempted the chinese tier 8 premium heavy tank the 112. Thanks for the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Stewie JP. You're not. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.